shame lives in impoverishment. In fact, I'd say the worst thing about poverty is shame. I don't know that I understood poverty before I got to school. I was just a normal little kid running around barefoot on a farm. The animals didn't care if I had on shoes or not, didn't care what I wore or did not wear on any given day, didn't speculate on my worth based on how I styled my hair or did not, didn't care if I had a dirty face either. Once I got to a new school at age 11, it was abundantly clear to me that I was poor. I did not look or dress like any of the kids my age. I remember this terrible, hand-me-down, ugly-as-sin, multicolored jacket and slack suit I wore to school on that first day. What 11-year-old wears a suit for crying out loud? Everyone else wore jeans. The poor boys that worked on farms had remnants of those farms on their jeans, and it was still better than that silly suit I wore. As I stood waiting for the bus that day, I suddenly looked down, and I was appalled at what I saw looking back up at me from my body. Too late to run inside and trying to find a more suitable hand-me-down. I had actually thought it looked good when I put it on. It was my best outfit. Rummaging through the hand-me-downs that sauntered through the front door for anything of value was always like looking for a needle in a stack of needles. Looking for a needle in a haystack would have been too easy. Adults were just as insensitive as the kids. Like the time I was wearing holy jeans and my principal said loud enough for the entire lunchroom to hear, looks like Tina's been shimmying up one too many trees. As soon as I was old enough to earn my own money, I started buying jeans, designer jeans, and other cool clothes. To me, nobody could tell if I was poor if I wore the right stuff, you know? But people could see poverty on me when I had to use lunch tickets at school. It didn't matter that I was pulling those lunch tickets out of those designer pockets. And there was always a huge crowd of students right behind me. I felt their judging eyes boring holes into me. I felt exposed. So exposed that in my freshman year of high school, I skipped lunch every single day, preferring to hide out in the bathroom. I felt exposed or barren so much of the time, like when I had to use food stamps at the grocery store. The cashier would have a facial expression that said, Ooh, I'm going to catch something. As if she would contract a fatal disease by even making contact with that paper funny money. She would barely touch it by a corner. Sorry, lady, I don't think you can catch poverty, but you have successfully made a child feel completely mortified. When I went to the courthouse to get the child support check my dad was supposed to have sent, one day the woman was sitting there with a snide expression, and she said, There's no check here for you. I actually was excited to get pizza that night, so I said, Are you sure? To which she responded, No check. And there would be no pizza and no happy mom. Poverty delights when the lights get shut off. Deprivation loves to see you borrow the neighbor's lawnmower again and again because yours is broken. Destitution enjoys when you have to literally go beg water from those same neighbors when the well runs dry for something like two, three months. Hardship rejoices when you have to chuck your dignity to the curb. Discomfort wallows in places of no dignity. Shame lives in impoverishment.